Hello guys, so so remember the serial who made for the thoughts uh why second video? He made a part two about the apologize about the misconception. Here it is. Hey, so I'm making a part two so I can clear up a few things. So I just realized that Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection was never a backwards compatibility to begin with. And I actually mistaken the game for Genesis Classics or Mega Drive Classics or whatever you call it. So sorry for the misconception. It really is a shame they remove all the classic Sonic games from the Xbox Marketplace, especially on Steam. Which you can legally play Sonic 3 Air if you already bought Sonic 3 on the platform. To most of the people just wondering why I make this video instead of just emulating this game on my laptop like a normal human being, well, it's that simple. Not everyone has a PC or a laptop laying in the room somewhere. You could just emulate it on your phone, it's that simple. It would be simple if that person had an Android and to run emulation on an iPhone, you have to jailbreak it, which isn't a great idea. And to legally play all of these good classic Sonic games, you have to buy Sonic Origins, which really is a shame. And for most out there saying that I'm just complaining and Sonic Origins is a great game, listen, this is just my opinion. You can like Sonic Origins, but to me, I just don't think it's the definitive way of playing all these classic Sonic games. Anyways, sorry for the misconception. Yep. He apologized about the misconception because they, 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 they wanted people to buy the Sonic Origins. So yeah. The reason was this, that Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, that game, was developed by the Backbone Entertainment. So what happened to Backbone? Well, because the reason, the reason was this, that it was shut down since around 2015, and you can see it at the bottom there, so here it is. And uh, the Backbone Entertainment was got shut down in 2015 because the reason was that back in March 2005, they made it to the zone of the combined company by Foundation 9 mm -hmm. Entertainment. Yep, I guess it's why it was began in March 20, 29, 2005. So yeah. You can see it was the came to not large injuries. So yeah. Because the Foundation 9 Entertainment was being the private company that was the, the uh, being from the merger that they uh, uh, both, uh, both developers like uh, Backbone Entertainment and the Collective. And what happened to the, the collective in Backbone? Well, you you see yourself on Wikipedia. So he this the Backbone Entertainment was got shut down in 2015, along with other assets, which he was a closed down the show lift, like at the Ch uh, Chili Town and Vancouver. While the collective it was merged into the Double Helix Games, but about it happened that the uh, do the Double Helix Games. It was sold to the Amazon Amazon Game Studios, which the that that Amazon Game Studios was on under of the other of the Amazon, which the which is the division of the online retailing company Amazon. However, it was the Amazon Game Studios became as currently is Amazon Games. While he while and Foundation and I having a did so. Have a buy that the the Summer Digital back in 2007, because Summer Digital was founded in 2003. But until the until Foundation 9 acquired the Summer Digital back in 2007, but they sold back the found the founders and management buyout in 2014, according to and including it that that the the Soma India. However, in 2017 the However, in 2017, Summer Digital was an officially parent company, currently of of the Summer Group, it was a British American holding company. The Sheffield, Sheffield was formed on December 2017 as a parent company of the Summer Digital and Autumn Hawk. Savvy that. Also, and and what happened to the Summer Group? Well, of course, in back in January 2022. Summer Group was getting acquired by Chinese purchase company that 
by Chinese company Tencent, which is just around the 2022. Yep, and an deployment to the and the poise and another deployment to the consumer group was about 1,400 in 2023, which the so yeah. At least the Sumo Digital was uh, still part of the, of the Sumo Group because, however, the Sumo Group so good limited was uh, was being par permanently off of the of ten cents. So what are the Chinese companies? So yeah, it's too sad about the day the backbone team was got defunct in twenty fifteen. The reason was the, the the merger. The merger was the the merger did between the between the the, the backbone and the, the collective. Was which they're being a Foundation Nine Entertainment. At least at the Sumo Group, at a Sumo Group, along with the, the Foundation Nine, still active because still actively operating because still active, uh, still active at the operating. I guess at least because the reason with the the reason was that the uh, the corporate changes because the conversation found the back backbone. It led it to the. The other backbone was get the soft in 2015, and that the and the collective was sold, was the start of the merging with the double helix until the, the until it, the double helix getting sold to the Amazon Games since the 20 since the 2014. So that's why. So that's this video. Please stay safe. Take care.